I'm going to show you how TM Blue's Print On Demand Product Personalizer can help you sell more merch. Hi guys, my name is RJ Martinez. With TM Blue, you can easily create custom designs for your products and increase your sales. So if you're looking for a way to take your business to that next level, then keep watching. And before we get into the content, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. All right, so what is TM Blue? All right, so TM Blue is a print on demand product personalizer that can help you sell more products, which is very powerful because that can create less competition for you as a print on demand seller. That's one of the things that I implement when it comes to helping people make money online is figure out a way to customize a product or figure out a way to source a product that no one else has. So those two things, if you can either one, make it easier for the customer to personalize, you know, their product or and make it more sincere to them and more passionate to them, that will increase your sales. TM Blue helps you do that, which is really, really, really powerful. You can see here's a few examples, but we'll go into more detail and I'm gonna show you exactly and go over an overview of everything inside of this video. So you guys wanna make sure you guys watch this to the very end and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. All right, so I want to show you a few different examples of personalized custom listing that you can do with TM Blue. And here are a few examples. By looking at these mock-up pictures, you're going to see like, you know, how, how they're all formatted, how they're all different. So over here on the right-hand side, you can see how you can choose from two different products. And this is just an example, guys, so you guys can understand exactly the whole concept and what's the value inside of this app. Here's a plain white mug, and then here's an exit mug. And you can see the different colors, right? Or you can click on two dogs, and you can see exactly what it did right there. Or I can upload my own personalized photo change the background you can see how it's changing the background you can see it's changing the skin tone and let's say like woman's hair let's say like and you can change the text color if you want you can choose different dog breeds you can put a, a quote now here's an, another example of another product right skinny tumbler right choose a number of kids so you can choose a number of kids say jack Kyle. Say you want to switch over to like a premium t-shirt and you want to add design on there. Let's say extra large number of kids. Let's say two. You're making it feel more like customized. All right. Now we have this trick or treat cat personalized doormat. So if we come over here to cat breeds, a Scottish fold is changing it, right? I love it. You put a little pumpkin head. We had this one right here. You could put a witch's hat. You, you see this? The cat's name is Larry. Change that around if you want to, however you want. And then you look at our final preview. Boom. So I'm over here in the uh, Shopify app store. So you have to have Shopify if you want to use this app. So TM Blue product personalizer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit add app, right? And it's going to add it to my Shopify store. And then if I come down right here, it's going to show you, you know, the product pricing. So you get a 21 day free trial okay starter plan nineteen dollars fifty nine dollars a month nineteen dollars a month fifty nine dollars a month one hundred fifty nine dollars a month and five hundred and forty nine dollars a month and based off of you know your performance your orders you can see right here so if you're getting over 350 orders a month you're gonna have to obviously you're gonna you get free you see sales you right here free 350 1,000 orders so on and so forth and gives you all the information free 5,000 orders a month 350 orders a month and 50 orders a month and then it goes right here the transaction fees tells you all that information there too here is a list of their fulfillment partners. So they integrate from Printful, Printify, Gelato, Shine On, Shirt Tea, Custom Cat, and obviously there's a few others right here. CSV integrated providers, Teasley, T Launch, My Shirts, Dot Store, Guten. You see a, there's a few more here too. A quick little overview of this too as well. It's important that you add, you know, your clip art categories in here before you start to add any type of artwork. So number one is just like, make sure that you get all your categories together because that's important. Understanding that all your categories are important because that's what's going to help you build that portfolio, build those custom characters or get those custom uh, characters on the product. So make sure you're taking your time to understand that and get that whole process done. And then next is the artwork, okay? When you come over here, you have to create the custom artwork, right? Now, now I'm looking at this, I was like, you know, mix it up a little bit, maybe have the sun holding the mom's hand, just trying to make it as much more passionate as possible to that customer. And as I'm going along and doing this, this is the ideas that I'm coming up with. So as you're doing this, or you're watching this video, like what can you do to stand out from your competition? What can you do to make that customer make that purchase? What is it gonna take for them to make a purchase from your store and produce more sales? And I believe that the more you make the customer feel some type of emotion like where they want to cry or something like that you can obviously make the customer make that purchase 
Okay. And then next is the product base. What are you going to put this product on? As you got this artwork, what are you going to put this artwork on? And then the campaign is basically, it says it itself. It's like, this is what you're going to do. This is what it is. And this is how you're going to launch it onto your store. There's so much that can be done with inside of TM Blue, which is a really amazing software. I think it's, it's just a really great opportunity as far as enable to customize a product, all right, and make it available and make it easier for your customer to customize a product and make a purchase on your store. All right, now, so when it comes to uploading your clip art, right, you're gonna go to the assets and clip art category. Okay, I've been adding a few different uh, categories in here. As you can see, this is important, kind of keep everything organized as you're coming in here. As you're uploading more and more, you can literally create like subcategories underneath each category, the main category. For example, let's look at the baby. You're gonna see I have one, two, three, a lighter skin tone, like a medium skin tone and a darker skin tone baby. And then you call here baby clothing. I have three different outfits, baby hair. You can see I have three different styles of hair and then baby shoes. I have three different styles of the baby shoe. Okay. And then if you come down to clothing, I have one, two, three different types of clothing. And this is for women. So I may come in here and edit this and put like women's. The women's clothing I have three different outfits right here and then the woman's hair I have three different styles of hair women's shoes you're gonna see i have one one two three four five different types of shoes okay and then the women one two two different skin tones i'll be adding one more skin tone in here this is very important i think you can just you know grow out your portfolio when it comes to this right here just adding different styles different assets to the clip art make it as unique as possible right here and this is very important because it makes it unique to the customer and understanding everything in there which is really cool to see all this you know being done all right now let's say you want to add a uh, new uh, category over here okay on the left hand side remember too if you hit this little dash you can add like uh, subcategories with inside here too as well okay, like for the clothing you want to separate everything you want tops pants the same thing with the hair you can do like a bun you can do like a flat top or whatever it is that you're doing okay and then the shoes let's say if you just like black and white shoes or purple shoes or pink shoes you can literally do all of that right there and the same thing with like you know uh, baby clothing just like a t-shirt you know different types of pants sweats you know you get what i'm saying so let's go ahead and hit a new category i have uploaded a few over here already so let's say like the women's clothing and i said we'll say like a part two or something or, or just an example just an example part two okay we already i already have it right here now remember like so if i wanted to add like a subcategory to the women's clothing with a parent asin i would literally just like hit the clothing let's say right there selected this it will put it under this i wanted to add some pants okay. women's clothing and then i decided to create more pants for the women's clothing put a subcategory right there and you can see right here thumbnail images drop down list of clip art name inline button of clip art name show options name on hover so we're just gonna leave this like this and we're gonna hit create we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take your clip art images right let's just grab a few examples these are ones already added there's this one it has a, it's a little little pants right there right and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit save okay when i hit save women's clothing and then i look down there's pants right so it's gonna pop up right there so if i hit this i select women's clothing i'm gonna bring that now hit the pants it's just going to bring up that one which is still loading into there give it a few seconds that's just an example to show you how you would upload a credit category create a parent parent category or whatever it is that you want to do but here's an example and i'm upload i upload it right here so it's going to give it a little bit of time and boom it'll be live on the back end of your t in blue all right so here is the default template um as you can see i just put everything together piece by piece uh from the clothing to the hair to the shoes and then to the you know the text right here you can see how some highlighting i can highlight certain things and move it so for example i'm moving the kid jimmy's shoes right here moving her the, her clothes her outfit right there of course this is the default template so i can actually come in here and switch this all up and change it to something else but this is what this is going to be based off of it's pretty much going to follow this right here the, the website so uh one clip category i'm gonna click that so i'm gonna go based off of the category and what i put it as right uh, that's what we're going to lo be looking at so i will come up here to clothing it's gonna you know select the clothing that i have available okay and then also it just has several different options that it gives you in here too baby shoes you can see we have the different options here um hit that mark as Required. Uh, let's move one thing. It's going to be the shoes. So, and then we're going to go to women's shoes. And I select the women's shoes. You're going to see that it pops up, obviously. And you can see I have the different skin tones right here of the boy. <clears throat> and you see I have the different skin tone for the women here. Because you have like three different options for the hair. I would recommend you start to add more categories because it's. I think the more the more you do it, the more unique it is. You can see it has three different outfits right there. And you can see the different hair. 
And I think we're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the save button. All right, now it's gonna be populating. So I'll give that a bit. There's so much that you can do here, okay? All right, so I'm over here in the product base and I'm gonna show you how I uploaded this ornament right here. I came over here, import product. I was just looking for an ornament. So I found that Printify had a few of them and they have quite a few of them, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one pack. Okay, ornament right here. Boom, boom import and then oval circle. That's boom. Okay, we got that down right there. We're gonna go ahead and click on this. Now, the cool thing about this print area is it's telling us 975, 975, and it's giving us like the correct dimensions for how they would print the product, giving us all the other information, which is really cool. The product detail, you may wanna add like personalized you know, product or personalized, um, for example, I'm doing a mommy and son. So if I'm doing mommy and son, you know, maybe I just put mommy and son, you know, Christmas holiday ornament or something like that. Okay. I'm going to come in here and edit each one, adding the print area front, front and front print area and the back print area are pretty much the same. Just want to try to get in there as best as possible, as you can see. And then I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit save. And then the same thing with this one too. You know, the goal is to get it in there as best as possible, right? You don't have to be exact, but you have to be kind of close. Don't be like way off and don't overthink it either, by the way. Tilt it a little bit if you want to kind of fit it in there. So that's, I'm putting this front. I'm assuming that's going to be, we'll put that one to be the back. And then we'll go ahead and adjust this to match with the top right there. All right. And then this, this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these two out. This is all personal preference too, by the way, because you can see as I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and this one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to add a print area in here. Okay. And it's important that you do this because basically it's just going to be the examples. If they click on the image, they can, they can see how, you know, what it's going to look like on, on the website, but then also to you know just telling the print provider and you know just helping you with everything and optimizing everything which is really really cool uh price don't forget to put this price point for example we're just going to put 30 dollars okay it updated it save make sure everything's good mom this will just do this mommy you know we have the artwork product base now we're going to go ahead and, and launch the campaign all right i'm going to come over here to new campaign mommy and son and then i'm going to go ahead and put available products hit the available products and the cool thing about this we just it's going to be the recent one right here in the product base okay so we synced it over from printify as you can see and there's several different print on demand product print providers from gelato custom cat printify printful there's a there's a ton more okay i'm gonna go ahead and select the artwork for here and you can see right artworks here that one artworks here click that one and you look right here we we look at this we can come in here and mess with this a little bit too you know you can set like you there's some little tools you can line it in and center it up there it is the ornament okay now let's look at there just showing just different ways it's on there it is there on the actual product which is really cool okay and then we'll go ahead and hit launch product boom boom the product is live it's publishing so probably just give it a little bit to see you know what how it comes out you know give it a little bit to sync and stuff like that which is now the cool thing about this too now i would come in here i'm gonna have to come in here and i will clean up some of the picture you know you can see like the you know this right here like this. you have uh the name of the picture or this should be like you know skin tone and i would come in there and clean that up i'll probably do that and then let's look at the women you see the skin tone and then you can look at the hair now i would come in here and edit a few of this like one of the things too not every single product's going to be perfect so you would have to go in there and edit the actual you know the, the product you can see the hair of the kid okay and then he's like so i want to switch a dress on the woman i can do that and switch the shoes of the boy and you can see let's say like the woman i want to switch her shoes i can switch her shoes you can change name they can edit all that and then hit preview add to cart and then make the purchase right now you can edit all that i think that's really awesome and you're going to see this section right here the orders page right this is really awesome because when orders come in you can come back here and back them all most personalized services don't have this and t and blue has this this is really really cool this is one way to just keep your focus inside of this app and be more productive and help you make more money you can download the design just right click and hit save image then done now here are a few ideas that i researched over here on etsy as you can see so that word personalize is a big a big word okay if you come over here and and check out like you can see like the demand for this type of product and to see exactly how they're doing it they're telling the customer to put like what top would they want on light skin medium skin dark skin and basically what you're going to do is fill it out in the options and then if you come down here it gives you you know different hairstyles and then the landscapes okay different landscapes you can see that there's people actually purchasing this product which is really awesome. Carter family, Chris, Amanda, Rose, you can see what they're doing here too as well. See how they're customizing, letting you build your own character, a little bit more like a, a family gift, right? 
for a mom or dad. Step three, how they're breaking it all down for you. And these are just ideas on what you can do. You can see what they're doing. We're here with the other products, right? So if you see stuff like this, pay attention to other products and see what they're doing. You can see what they're doing here. Uh, the background, you know, the bone, the dog's name, right? And this can apply to any product that you can customize, okay? So, you know, the more unique with the product and uh, the more customizable that you're making the product, the less competition that you're going to have. You can test this on new products that are coming out. What I recommend too as well, see a new product coming out, it doesn't hurt to test. If you want to increase the profits of your business and take it to that next level, download TM Blue. Link will be down below in the description. Thank you. And if you want to learn more about print on demand and making money online, check this video out right here.